Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Math and Entire Tamil. Now, we will see the real analysis of theorem 11.15, which means Fedges theorem. Assume that f belongs to L of closed interval 0, 2 pi. f is a function, that is f is a function which belongs to Lebesgue integral. L denotes the Lebesgue integrable function. That is the interval 0, 2 pi. And suppose that f is periodic with period 2 pi. Period na f for a period when the two pile are po. So either in the very f can either not a period on the two pi arc. Suppose in the ring the very f and refunction either not a period on the two pi arc. So f for a period when the two pi in the ratio are no define a function by the following equation. And the function I put it in not panga s of x equal to t tends to 0 plus f of x plus t plus f of x minus t divided by 2. In here, f and function is Lebesgue integral. f and function is Lebesgue integral. Belongs to the So, whenever the limit exists. So, in the function is the limit exists. Then, for x. In here, x is the same thing. Then, for each x for which s of x is defined the Fourier series generated by f is Cesaro summable and as c, 1 sum s of x. In the S of X in this term, the Cesaro summability of Fourier series or statement is the same thing. And what do you Yes, N denotes the nth partial sum of the Fourier series generated by F. And sigma N equal to S0 of X, S1 of X plus etc. S N minus 1 of X divided by N. And what do S of X in this term? S of X is defined the Fourier series generated by F is Cesaro summable and as C, 1 sum S of X. We have Limit n tends to infinity sigma n of x equal to s of x. In the end, sigma n of x in the room will tell you that we have a Cesaro summability of Fourier series or a statement. Sigma n equal to s0 of x plus s1 of x plus etc. s n minus 1 of x divided by n. In so, that's why we have to say limit n tends to infinity sigma n of x equal to s of x. So, sigma n is the sequence of the arithmetic mean of the partial sum of the Fourier series. So, in the condition circle, in the condition circle, in the wording circle, arithmetic mean of the partial sum of the Fourier series. In addition, f is continuous. In the function, f is continuous. The f is continuous. The Lebesgue integrable function is continuous. The f is continuous. The f is The f is continuous. 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 The f is Converges na the limit exists here. No, in the condition pati na teriyo anga limit n tends to infinity sigma n of x equal to s of x. In the sigma n of x ka limit exists here. Ko ap exists here kumod na mag kada value s of x. So adhe pal na mag prove pane vendi the sigma n of x ka limit exists here. No, na mag kada ka pora value vendi ya full na varnum. So adha inga na mag prove pana poro. Ipe na mag prove paklam. Proof la given given orda in the equation se eldi kanga s of x equal to limit t tends to 0 plus f of x plus t plus f of x minus t divided by 2. Next, let in the normal in the condition cell the go g of x of t equal to f of x plus t plus f of x minus t divided by 2 minus s of x in sort of normal assume in the condition cell the go. Next, in the 2 in the s of x could have multiple panna f of x plus t plus f of x minus t minus 2 s of x divided by 2. Next, g x of t tends to 0 in the tongue g x of t tends to 0 as t tends to 0. t or a value 0 are in the, the g x of t or a value 0 are consulted. So, you can even here in the condition cell. You can see the given that you can see the given that s of x equal to limit t tends to 0 plus f of x plus t plus f of x minus t divided by 2. So, you can see t tends to 0. You can see the value king. In the t value class 0, 0 and kudutta, either k the key equal to arcana, s of x key equal to arcana, so in the condition of the kanga. Upon a man. S of x equal to f of x plus t plus f of x minus t divided by 2 nil. In the s of x on the in the side poetry, minus s of x side, in the zero. Up f of x minus t plus f of x plus t divided by 2 minus s of x, zero on kudukla. Yeah, zero on kudukla. Either end equal to then s of x equal to f of x plus t plus f of x minus t divided by 2 under the equal to other. So up in the value burden of s of x in kudukla. In the already or minus s of x, so minus. S of x. S of x minus S of x equal to 0. Item. So, that's why g x of t tends to 0. Yana, nama g x of t is considered f of x plus t plus f of x minus t divided by 2 minus S of x. So, that's why we consider it. So, that's why this value is 0. If you put t value 0, you can see g x of t is 0. So, that's why we consider it. 
given epsilon greater than 0 for all a positive del less than pi such that modulus of g x of t less than epsilon by 2. Why are the conditions like this? I already told you that f is continuous on close interval 0, 2 pi. So, if the function is continuous, it will be bounded. Bounded is the modulus value less than or equal to m. M is a positive integer. So, the positive value is epsilon by 2. If f is continuous, it will be bounded. So, in the side layer, f is continuous, and it is equal to g of x, g x of t is bounded. So, that is g x of t is less than epsilon by 2. Del depends on both x and pi. Why is this? If you look at t value is 0 less than t less than del, then you can tell the interval. So, del value is x and epsilon value is depends on x and epsilon value. So, we can tell the t value is 0 less than t less than del value. So, if we get the del value, we can tell the del value is x and epsilon. So, it depends on the two. So, already given less since f is continuous on closed interval 0, 2 pi. So, that's why you get it. If f is uniformly continuous on closed interval 0, 2 pi. So, by theorem 11.4, you can see the Cesaro summability of Fourier series. If you have a note in the note, you can see the condition in the note. Sn of x minus x equal to 1 by n pi integral 0 to pi f of x plus t plus f of x minus t divided by 2 minus s sin square 1 by 2 n t divided by sin square t by 2 into dt. So, on the condition set it on the ingle the kang. So, next step in a final kang na 1 by n pi integral 0 to pi in the kai f of x plus t plus f of x minus t divided by 2 in the 2 in the s put a cross multiplication money other kind of minus 2 s of x divided by 2 in the kind of next in the term it's running in the kind of we divide the interval into two sub interval 0 comma del and is del comma pi in the kind of number 1 comma 5 if you can travel and I'm a real drama 1 comma 3 plus 3 comma 2 it might type later than all so other for the angle the in the kind of 0 comma del no interval low plus no interval, del comma pi in here. Why are we going to do this? Let's see if you look at it. Del value less than pi, then pi value is greater. So, how do we do this? 0 comma del plus del comma pi in here. So, why do we do this? 0 comma del and del comma pi in here. So, if you look at this interval, now we split it in here. Sigma n of x minus s of x equal to 1 by n pi in here. First, integral 0 to del in here, in the conditions here, in the next other pull up plus 1 by n pi integral del to pi, integral del to pi in the result here, in the other conditions here, in the other conditions here, in the other conditions here, so in the step, next take modulus on both sides, both sides are modulus all here, in the other conditions here, less than or equal to pull up, now in the take modulus on both sides, so in the both sides modulus here, it is full modulus here, so in the modulus here, split up here, First, in the term core modulus, so in the term core modulus is split panel. So, other than that, in the less than or equal to symbol use panel. Next, 1 by n pi integral 0 to del. In the value, which gx of t in here. Why gx of t in here? In the left, you can see gx of t equal to f of x plus t plus f of x minus t minus 2 s of x divided by 2. So, in the end, we have left gx of t in here. So, we have to keep it in here. In the value, we have to substitute in the value. Here is gx of t in the left layer. So, we can substitute in the value in the gx of t. Sin square n t by 2 divided by sin square t by 2 plus 1 by n pi integral del to pi. In the value in gx of t sin square n t by 2 divided by sin square t by 2 dt. So, here is equation number 1. In the equation number 1, we have two models. Modulus लेर का first term इन द term हम मतलब इंगेल दिख कांगा equal to one by n pi modulus लेर का positive value वार अंदालो negative value वार अंदाल नमक अल positive वादा आर को so अदनाले इन द one by n pi निल दिख कांगा integral zero to del modulus of g x of t sin square n t by two divided by sin square t by two dt so ये यहाँ इधर को नोल्ड पे तेरी नानी करा next ना हम already modulus of g x of t इन द g x of t के नाम ये epsilon by two उन सोल्टिंग का find पनेर को epsilon by 2, that's why the interval is 0 to del, so that's why the integral value is 0 to del, so that's why we can get epsilon by 2, so that's why epsilon by 2 n pi, so that's why n pi is the same, integral 0 to del sin square n t by 2 divided by sin square t by 2 dt, next thing we can do, we can see the Cesaro summability of Fourier series, we can see the equations, 
1 by n pi integral 0 to del sin square nt by 2 divided by sin square t by 2 dt equal to 1. So, in the conditions, in the conditions, it's something you use. Now, here, in here, 1 by n pi integral 0 to del sin square nt by 2 divided by sin square t by 2 dt. So, that's why we have 1 and 1. So, epsilon by 2 into 1 varu. so apo namakku epsilon by 2 irukki equation number 2 nu eduthukanga so namakku inga rendu modulus value irukku so nama indha modulus value ku nama epsilon by 2 nu find pannitom next inga irukra integral del 2 pi so indha modulus value ku value find pandranga next so adha inga eludhirukanga the second sub interval nu solla sub interval eludhirukanga next 1 by n pi integral del 2 pi modulus of gx of t sin square nt by 2 divided by sin square t by 2 dt agum inga irukka n pi sin square t by 2 nu irukku inga namakku del 2 pi vari irukku limit kudukalam so adanal inga sin square del del oda value kuduthirukanga del by 2 nu solli inda denominator value vai veli eduthirukanga sin square del by 2 nu so appo namakku enna kadikum del integral del 2 pi modulus of gx of t dt sin square n t by 2 into dt agum so inga irukra inda value ku ella ivanga i of x nu kuduthirukanga i of x divided by n pi sin square del by 2. Now choose n such that so you have small n you have capital n so i of x divided by n pi sin square del by 2 less than epsilon by 2 then so in the value you have epsilon by 2 so we have in the conditions less than or equal to epsilon by 2 so we have the value of epsilon by 2 so 1 by n pi integral del 2 pi gx of t sin square nt by 2 divided by sin square t by 2 into dt less than so in the value of epsilon by 2 so this is so this is the first equation so we can find the value of epsilon by 2 so we can find the value of epsilon by 2 so that is the value of modulus of sigma n of x minus s of x less than or equal to epsilon by 2 plus epsilon by 2 so epsilon by 2 plus epsilon by 2 we can find epsilon by 2 so, we can take the limit n tends to infinity. This is sigma n of x. So, if we take the limit n tends to infinity, sigma n of x equal to s of x. So, here is n of x. So, that is not the limit n of x. So, we can take the limit n tends to infinity. So, that is the value of this value. So, here is the limit n tends to infinity, sigma n of x equal to s of x. So, we have already said that given if f is continuous on close interval 0, 2 pi, if f is continuous on close interval 0, 2 pi, then f is bounded. f is bounded for all and m such that. So, continuous on the modulus value less than or equal to m or some positive value. So, on the modulus value, you can less than or equal to m. Replace i of x by pi m. Why do you say this? If we look at the equation number 3, we can say i of x. In the value you can use integral del 2 pi modulus of gx of t dt dt sin square nt by 2 So in the value you can use i of x So that's why In the g of x We can use m So remaining is what is the value Sin square nt by 2 dt del 2 pi So in the value you can use m The remaining is what is the value del 2 pi sin square n t by 2 dt in irukku so in the value ki yunga pi in irukku irukkanga so in the irukkara i of x ikku badil avunga pi m in solittu substitute pannin irukkanga replace i of x by pi m so i of x ikku badil nama pi m kutta so it's a modulus value less than or equal to pi m agum pi m n pi sin square del by 2 so apu choose pi m by n in the small n irukki in the capital n irukki n pi sin square del by 2 oda value namakku less than epsilon by 2 agum for n greater than or equal to n so apu namakku idhan oda value vandhu less than epsilon by 2 na apu in the side la irukkara idhan oda value namakku less than or equal to epsilon by 2 na agum so adhanal thang inga epsilon by 2 nil irukkanga apu namakku modulus of sigma n of x minus s of x less than epsilon agum yaa inga in the conditions less than epsilon nil irukkanga na nama idhukku already epsilon by 2 nil in the modulus value ikku find pannit this is the modulus value. This is the g. This is the g. We are bounded. We are bounded. So, we are bounded. We are bounded. Epsilon by 2 is the value. So, that is the modulus of sigma n of x minus s of x equal to less than epsilon. So, we are bounded. This is the value of less than epsilon. But, then, we are bounded. 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 
So, in the case of the value 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 of Converges na limit exist down on solte. Inga pati na sigma n of x vandu converges a arke. Yana idhuk limit exist a arke. So converges limit exist a arke mohad namak vare value vandu s of x. So other than yelthi irkanga. Sigma n of x converges tends to s of x equal to s f of x. Yaya s of x equal to f of x na. Inga irkare s of x or x ke t tends to 0 plus f of x plus t plus f of x minus t divided by 2 na. So inga vandu f of x in rover function irkhe. So other than s of x equal to f of x na yelthi irkanga. அப்போ நமக்கு s of x ன்றது sigma n of x converges to s of x னா அப்போ sigma n of x converges to s f of x ஆவும் இருக்கும் அப்படினு சொல்லிட்டு கொடுத்திருக்காங்க அதனால தான் இங்க sigma n of x converges to f of x as n tends to infinity சோ அதனால தான் லிமிட் n tends to infinity sigma n of x equal to f of x னு எழுதி இருக்காங்க இந்த கண்டிஷன்ஸ்லாம் உங்களுக்கு புரியும் நினைக்கிறேன் நாம ஆல்ரெடி இங்க s of x க்கு இந்த வேல்யூஸ் வெச்சிருக்கோம் गिवनல சோ s of x வந்து sigma n converges to s of x ன்ற போது அப்ப sigma n of x converges to f of x ஆவும் இருக்கும்ல ஏனா s of x ல f of x t f of x t 2 ன்னு இருக்கு சோ அதனால sigma n of x converges to s of x ஆ இருக்கும் போது அப்ப sigma n of x converges to f of x ஆவும் இருக்கும் அப்படின்றதனால தான் இங்க இந்த கண்டிஷன்ஸ் எழுதி இருக்காங்க சோ இது தான் நம்ம ப்ரூஃப் பண்ண வேண்டிய கண்டிஷனோ இங்க பாத்தீங்கனா தெரியும் sequence sigma n converges uniformly to f on closed interval 0,2 pi ne. so that's why we have to prove it I hope you can understand the theorem easy thanks for watching keep supporting our channel Math Mentor Tamil if you are not subscribed please do share and subscribe our channel Math Mentor Tamil thank you so much guys